The demonstration you are about to see is being performed on an Intel ATX motherboard. Installation on other form factors may vary. Introducing the new Pentium 2 processor. Delivering the best of Intel's next generation processors, the power of the Pentium Pro processor, plus the capabilities of MMX technology. Offering a new level of performance for both business and home PC buyers. Today, we're going to show you how to install the Pentium 2 processor. It's packaged in a single edge contact cartridge, which we'll refer to as an SEC cartridge. Following is an installation of the processor with an active heatsink solution. A note of caution, the ATX motherboard and the Pentium 2 processor contain electrostatic discharge sensitive components. An appropriate ESD grounding protection process should be used while handling these products to prevent damage. Place the motherboard on an ESD protected surface. The Intel Pentium 2 box processor features a pre-installed active fan heatsink. With the Intel boxed processor, you'll receive two active fan heatsink supports, two fan support pegs, and one fan power cable. Here's the new ATX motherboard you've just received. You'll notice it has a different connector. Referred to as the slot one connector, this was designed specifically for the SEC cartridge. Please note, if your board has arrived with a passive heatsink support installed, you will need to remove it, being careful not to damage the motherboard. You'll need a bottom heatsink support removal tool, which is available from Intel. Remove the heatsink support retention pins by hand. Place the removal tool over the two outside posts on top of the bottom heatsink support. Make sure the tool is fully engaged on the two posts. Carefully rock the tool until the retention posts disengage from the motherboard. Remove the heatsink support and the tool from the motherboard. Your new boxed motherboard should include a retention mechanism with captive nuts. The only tool you'll need is a number two Phillips head screwdriver. The first step of the process is to install the retention mechanism over the slot one connector. Note the keyed orientation. Make sure all four captive nuts are started before you tighten them. Use the Phillips screwdriver to secure the retention mechanism to the motherboard. The four nuts should be torqued to six inch pounds. Over tightening may result in damage to the motherboard. Mount the two black plastic pegs into the motherboard. These pegs will be used to attach the fan heatsink supports. Notice that one peg and hole are larger than the other peg and hole. Push each peg into its respective hole firmly until you hear it click into place. Slide the black plastic supports onto each end of the fan heatsink, making sure that the hole and clip are on the outside edge of the support. If the supports are reversed, the holes will not line up with the pegs on the motherboard. Attach the fan power cable to the three pin connector on the fan heatsink. Slide the clip on each of the heatsink supports toward the processor, exposing the hole that will fit over the peg on the motherboard. The processor also has latches on each end at the top edge of the SEC cartridge. Push those latches toward the center of the processor until they click. Hold the processor so that the fan shroud is facing toward the pegs on the motherboard. Slide the processor into the retention mechanism and the heat sink supports over the pegs. Push evenly until the processor is firmly seated. Slide the clips on the heatsink supports forward to hold the pegs securely in place. Push the latches on the SEC cartridge outward until they click into place in the retention mechanism. Here's the final critical step. Attach the fan power cable to the three pin connector on the motherboard. This completes the installation. 
At this point, simply follow the manufacturer's instructions for installing the motherboard into your chassis. You'll need to make allowances for new thermal and mechanical considerations on the enclosure you select. Thank you for purchasing this Intel motherboard and Pentium 2 processor with MMX technology. Another high-performance processor from Intel.